So let's go over how you can crop an image using Procreate for the iPad. In the first part of this lesson, we're going to go over how to crop the entire image, and then we're going to go over a workaround for how to crop just an individual layer if you want to do that. So to get us started here, to crop this entire image, what we want to do is open up the Actions menu, which is located by that wrench icon in the top left corner over there. And from these options over here, we're looking for Canvas, and the first item on the list right here, which is Crop and Resize, go ahead and tap on that. And when you, when you open that, you're going to get this little grid that you can move around like this. This represents the new crop of the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width and height by using these sides over here and by using the corners as well. And if I want to change the position of this crop, I could just tap and drag the center of it like that to move it around. And if I want to reset it back to its original size, all I have to do is tap on the reset button up here. Now let's say you want to lock the aspect ratio when scaling the crop here. To do that, just tap on settings and enable this little chain icon between the width and the height. And the way that works is now when you go to scale your crop, it will scale the width and the height proportionally, as you can see there, so that it preserves the aspect ratio. So let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and reset that. Let's come back over here to settings. Now, if you want to crop your image based on numerical inputs, like say, for example, you need your image to be a specific size, this is where you would do it right here in this menu. So as you can see here, the width of this image is 2731. Let's say I wanted to scale this down to the size of a thumbnail. I could just do this. I could just set this to 1280. And then I could set this to 720. And now what I could do is I can move this around like this. And once I'm finished, I could tap on done. And there you go. As you can see, the image has been cropped like that. So let me go ahead and undo that. So now let's go over how you can crop just an individual layer. Now, unfortunately, there is no feature that allows you to crop just an individual layer, but this is something that can be done using clipping masks. So let me show you as an example here. I'm going to open up my layers menu. I'm going to create a duplicate of this layer. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the original layer. And I'm going to close out of this menu right here. Actually, no, I'm going to leave the layers menu open. What I want to do is tap the plus icon to create a new layer and then close out of it. And what I want to do now is open the selection menu and I want to create a rectangular selection. And I want to make sure I have add enabled over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag like this or tap and drag rather like that to create a selection. And I want to fill that in with a color. So whatever color you have selected over here in the top right corner, just tap and tap and drag that into the, uh, the selection there and then tap the selection button to deselect it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the layers menu. I'm going to take this layer right here. I'm going to hold a tap over the image layer and I'm just going to move it above that rectangle we just created. And then I'm going to select that layer and I'm going to tap on it again till we get this little fly out menu. And now I'm going to select clipping mask. And as you can see here, that individual layer has been cropped with the background and everything else still intact. And the benefit of using this method is that it's non-destructive, meaning you can go back and edit it anytime you want. All you have to do is select that layer and close out of it. And now you can grab your selection tool and you can change the location of the crop on that individual image if you'd like. And you can see this even better if you turn off the visibility of the background layer. Now you can see just how easy it is to change the crop of your image just like that. So I think that should do it for this lesson. That is how you can go about cropping an image in Procreate. And that's how you can crop an individual layer as well. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.